Hey everyone, today we're going to be creating a Facebook profile frame from scratch. So here's how I'm going to make it. And if you want to see my process and see how it turns out, then please keep on watching. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is to go to the search bar and type in Facebook profile frame. And from the drop down, we're going to click on Facebook profile frame, the one with an icon. And clicking on that will take us to the templates page. And from here, we can choose from so many awesome templates that we want to use or modify or tweak however we want to. But since this is going to be a tutorial, then we're going to be making one from scratch. And so we're going to go back to the very top. And click on the create a blank Facebook profile frame button. And from here, we can see our workspace. On the side panel, you can see the templates once again. In case you change your mind, it's easily accessible. And it's under the design category. We can also search for different types of Facebook frame. Celebrate, for example. And many more. There are several options for you to choose from. So let's start designing. This time, I'd like to put a background color on our frame, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're going to be choosing the perfect color. I'd like to create a Facebook frame about summer because, I don't know, I just love summer. And I love the beach. Okay, maybe this one's okay. And now we're going to put some elements. We're going to put frame on the search bar and add this circle frame where we can insert our photo later. This will be the backbone of our frame. And we're going to build elements around it. Let's add a border around that circle frame. So let's search for a circle on the search bar and look for the perfect sized circle border that we can place on top of that. Let's try this one. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to change the color. No worries if you don't think the color is nice as you work through it because we're going to have the option to change that later on. For now, we're just going to put a border around the frame so that we have something to work on and we have like a guide where we can put, put around our designs, I mean elements. So let's keep on adding elements. I'd like to add a wave. So let's try and do that. This can take a few minutes because it's going to take a while to decide which wave element would look good on our profile frame.
I think this one would do. Let's change the color. Now let's add an island with a coconut tree on it. Let's send it to the back by clicking on position and then backwards. Let's keep on adding more elements. By the way, we can send elements backwards by clicking on the position button on the upper right and then backwards. I decided to duplicate the wave to create like a more convincing wavy effect or yeah if you know what I mean. Now we're gonna add a text. We can also choose to change our font. We're also going to add some effect to our text. This time I'm using the uh, curve effect so that we could fit it inside our circular frame. And yeah, just basically I'm toggling the slider as to how curved I want my text to be. I decided to change the color because I think, yeah, if we change the color to something like this, it would make the frame pop more and make it more attractive. That's why I decided to change the color of the rose mallows as well, so that we could also make it more visible. And basically, I'm just going to rearrange everything and, yeah, find the perfect spot for each element. Now it's time to add the picture to our frame. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to pick some pictures as a sample. So we're going to draw, oh, I, we're going to have to place the frame forwards first before we could actually put the picture inside. So let's just drag the picture, send to back again. And there! Now our Facebook frame is done and we're ready to download it and use it on Facebook. In order to download it, just simply go to the share button above. Click on download. Select the file type you want your image to be saved as. 
and then click on download. And that should be it. We hope you found today's video of use. Thanks so much for watching.